What's up guys, it's Instinct here and today I'll be showing you guys how to make an AI file. It's pretty simple, all you have to do is bring your logo into Photoshop and make sure it is transparent and if it's not transparent then you can go ahead and brush the sides, use the pen tool and just clean it up to where you have the logo by itself. Now for this example I'm using the store logo. Now once you have your logo, go ahead and click this quick selection tool, this tool right here. Now there's a chance that it might be on the magic wand tool so if it is go ahead and hold down on it and select the quick selection tool. Now once you are here go ahead and just click on the entire screen and make sure the entire screen is selected and then let go and it will highlight or select the logo. Now once you have your logo selected, go ahead and right click and click work path. Once you click work path, now the tolerance may work good for you and it may not work good for you. So I found that 0.7 pixels works really great with the store logo, but the more edges and curves and basically the more complex your logo is, the higher pixels you want. The maximum is 2 pixels, so I'll show you an example. If I use 2 pixels right here and click OK, you can see that like the logo is very curvy. Now go ahead and click Ctrl Z, it will highlight it again. It will basically take you back to where it was highlighted. You can right click, click make work path, and then choose a different value. So I'm going to choose 0 0.7, and like I said, this one works really well, so I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, this is a lot better than the previous version I had. So go ahead and mess around with that and find what works best with your logo. So once you have a very clean version outline of your logo here, go ahead and go to File and go to Export and go to Paths to Illustrator. It should say Paths to Work Path here. And if it does not, go ahead and select it. But Go ahead and make sure it is work path. Click OK. Now you're going to want to save or basically save it as an AI. And I have an AI folder here, so I'm just going to save it in here. And I already have one called SOAR. Um, I'm just going to use SOAR, SOAR Tutorial. And go ahead and click Save. So, yeah, that is pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. If you like this video, guys, Please make sure to drop a comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.